It is taking time, it's receiving time, it's collection time. Prophetic, effective, productive. No more delay here. No more delay here. Dressing that the world dress for attraction, the kingdom dress for respect. There's a wisdom there. Wisdom is a spirit that can talk inside you and say, Keep quiet now, don't talk. Your husband is getting angry, say sorry. We talked about the third one. What's the third one that I mentioned now? Wisdom. Number four, what's the number four? Strength. strength. How many of you want to be strong? That is th- when you have when you have strength, you don't need healing. To be in a place of soundness of of body. Are you listening to what I'm saying? That should be your goal. That you don't need prayer for healing. You should be walking towards that. Are you following what I'm saying? He died to to, to receive strength for us. He died with our sickness so we should be healthy. He died at 33 and a half years so we can live the fullness. Anything that wants to cut your life short, you have the right to say, No, Jesus died young so I can live old. It's an exchange. No, there's no legal system in the world that a man is punished for the, same, for the same offense twice. If Jesus has been punished for our offense, it is wrong for the devil to punish me for what I did that Jesus was punished for. Do you get what I'm saying? That's a legal, that's a legal fact. So when the devil brings anything on you, you can tell the devil, Satan, it is illegal for you to put it on me. You can put it on the body of a sinner. I'm a saint. The blood is on me. You can't put it on me. Take it off. But listen to me, because the devil is an outlaw, you have to resist him and reject what he's bringing. Say, no, I'm not going to accept. The devil will test whether you know. The scripture can't be broken, but he wants to test whether you know or not. Number five, what's number five? How many of you want some honor here? Oh, listen to me. You know what honor is? Honor is value. Worth. Estimation. It's a force in the spirit. I pray for you that you'll be honorable everywhere you go. Amen. Did you hear what I'm saying? That you'll be honorable. You will be. Cho- you have. You have had in your. You know. I don't know what how they speak other language, but I know every language in their vernacular can be witty. The English language is not a very witty language. I don't know why it became the universal language in the world, but we will use it. You are witty, in my hand. There are some descriptions. Do you get what I'm saying? When you, when you look at the word honor in the Greek is time. It means evaluation. Something that you value and put in that place of value. When, when, you, when you have honor upon you, the honor that God placed over the value that God placed for is what men attack to you everywhere. Okay? Number six. Oh, Glory. The heaviness of God's presence. Hello? One of the things that people don't like to research is that when you talk of glory, glory talks of the heaviness of his presence and it talks of real wealth. Praise God. Glory. He died to put that on us. What's number seven? Ah. How many of you can do with some blessings? Huh? Can do with some blessings? Not curses? Huh? Praise God. When somebody is doing bad, they say long life and prosperity. Not short life and poverty. <laughs> blessings. What a wonderful thing, blessings. Amen. Do you know what this is? These are the things that God puts upon you as you feed on the word of God spiritually. And they begin to attract the physical counterpart. As you traverse through life. When Joseph entered Egypt, you just imagine, let me give you a picture. For example, if behind your house you see some of these katuriaras that are just, just has a stick and is 
just walking like that. And somebody tell you and say, that is the husband of your daughter. Will you accept? Is it always saying, oh, no, no, no. But Joseph was worse than that. He was a slave. The, he had only a loincloth. He didn't wear any clothes. He was three times sold. His brother sold him. The people that they sold him to, he sold him. And then they sold him. And then now, Potiphar bought him. Finally. So even if his brothers repented, they will not know where he is again. Are you following what I'm saying? But he was wearing a garment in the spirit, the garment of blessing. Because blessing is not just something that is spoken on you. It is a garment you wear. And what is the power of blessing is that it changes the atmosphere of your life to favor your progress. Did you hear that? The garment of blessing changes the atmosphere of your life to favor your progress. The, when you wear the garment of blessing, do you know what it does again? The garment of blessing always gives you the future. You know the cause. A cause is not just, it's not just something that somebody wish you evil. A cause is a negative power that shut the door on tomorrow and reduce the future. A cause person as he goes towards the future like this is reducing, 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 reducing. You can know that some men are cursed. Did you hear what I'm saying? They may be wealthy now and successful. If you want to know whether they are blessed or not, look at his children. And I want you to look at your life after today. Do you hear what I'm saying? You must never allow by conscious action or unconscious carelessness the entrance of a curse in your life. If, for example, your father married at 30 and you are becoming 29, 30 without anything about marriage happening, a curse is already attaching to your trouser. The sign of the blessing is that in the next generation, it is better, it is stronger, it is faster, it is smoother, it is wealthier, it is more glorious. Your father graduated at 27. You are graduating at 30. You are behind schedule. Now anyone that is listening to me today that a cause is already manifesting in your life like that, you should start rejecting it. Did you hear what I'm saying? You shouldn't see your son go on the same road that you are going at the same time. No. Did you hear what I said? I told one of my associates, I said, now, are you planning to build a house at the time your father built? Your father built his house at around 70. Is that when you want to build a house? You understand what I'm saying? One young man was a deacon in the church here at that time. And um, his father had not built a house. By the time he was old enough to start building a house. I came under the anointing. I was one of the first said when God said he's putting an anointing, a grace for people to become landlords on the house. 2002 that time. And after that one, and I spoke to him. People came to put pressure on him. That help your father and all that. And was a strange counsel. I said, under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, that if your father had not been able to build a house up to this time, there's a force that is holding him down. If you are going to help him, you must be delivered from that force. Now you come under a different force. The power of God. Build your house and then help your father. Alright? It was a tough decision. But he built his house. And under a year, Helped his father to build the house that he had not built for decades. And the father came to meet me at MDS and said, He's speaking Yoruba. He said, yeah. The father understood the battle that the family had been under. And he could see the difference in his son. I said, Hey, man, to shoot a dead all over. He said, It's not me, it's God's power. He came under the power of God. That's the blessing sign. Are you listening to what I'm saying? You find people. One of our leaders, Jan, said his, own, his grandfather did not have a house in their hometown. His father raised the house to Linton Levu and the house collapsed. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Last time that I told people to write their assets and liability, he has four buildings, two that are completed, two that are in progress. That's a sign of blessing. 
Are you listening to what I'm saying? The blessing is not just good luck. Don't ever accept luck. Luck is another name, oh, an old name for Satan. Old, Lu- old Lucifer. Old Lucky. That's what they used to call it. That is the god of the gamblers. I feel like I'm saying they say the, every game of luck is lucky. That's the that's old name for, for Lucifer. You need to be blessed. Blessing is a power that comes upon us and encases us that the, all the operations of Satan, when it comes around you, it loses his power. He can continue working against other people, but you move through. There are people that is the firstborn son and it's not, it not doesn't show. He's the last born that is like the head. You know there is a, there is a difference between Akobi and Tolori Ebi. The blessing determines the Olori Ebi. And when you are blessed, no matter how they throw the dice, you come up the head. Because there are people that have been weak, weak, victims of witchcraft displacement, witchcraft disarrangement and rearrangement. That's why God hates witchcraft. Witchcraft is somebody that is using satanic power to, to impose their evil wishes on somebody. Nobody has a right to say that to another person except something good. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Yeah, there are people that are working under that kind of wicked power. You read the book of Genesis 49? Around verse 22, Naphtali. He said, Naphtali is a calf let loose. He gave it goodly words. That was Jacob when he was about to go. He looked at his son, Naphtali. Wonderful potential, but no, no manifestation. He carries great destiny, but no demonstration of it. Just like a caricature of what it could be. Everybody in school knew, oh, the way this boy is brilliant, is going to be a colossus happen somewhere. Ten years after school, is nowhere to be found. Because his causes have a, a wrapped his feet in life. And the father looked at him, Jacob, and said, Naphtali, before I go, let me release you from this curse. Naphtali is a calf let loose. And tonight I pray, because there's an anointing on me to let you loose. Anyone that is under a curse. But when the, when the power of God hits you, it breaks the shackle of curses. The worst thing that can happen to a man is to curse that person. When, Noah, when, when the son of Noah, Ham, saw his father's nakedness and went to tell his brethren. Okay? And the two of them, Shem and Japheth, took their garments and by the, with the back like this, they went to cover their father's nakedness. And when Noah heard that this is what his younger son did, if you read that place in Genesis, he didn't cause harm. He cursed his son. He said, Canaan shall be a servant of servants. Because a cause cancels the future. No matter what it does, the future will be nothing. But when you are blessed, it doesn't matter how bad your past is. It doesn't matter how tight your today is. You own tomorrow. I want to tell you, the man that owns tomorrow is the king. Everybody has three days, yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And tomorrow. But the blessing says tomorrow is yours. Just don't make a mistake today. In fact, when you're under the blessing, your mistake can become a miracle. You need to study David. He made a mistake, he still fulfilled his destiny because he had a covenant of blessing. You hear what I'm saying to you today? Oh, Jesus died so that we can be blessed on the earth. That you can walk through anywhere. You don't know who is angry at you. You don't know who is wishing evil. When a man is wearing the garment of the blessing, when evil wishes come like this and hit you, the garment of the blessing return it sevenfold. The Bible says they shall come one way and flee sevenfold. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Oh, you don't know. You know, sometimes people don't know what they have when they are born again. It's because God doesn't allow us to see all the things that he has kept us from and shielded us from and the garment that he put upon us is protecting us from. Amen? In the Old Testament, when God told them to make garments for the children of Israel, the priests especially said they should make garments for beauty and for glory. But those two forces must be upon you, beauty and glory. They are forces. Beauty is not just about the structure of your face and your cheekbone. Beauty is a supernatural thing that oozes out of you. You understand? It's not the shape, the way you trim your mustache and all that. It's just something that oozes out of you that makes you lovely, delightsome, wanting to be around you kind of person. 
So they got women that they put the spirit inside them to, to sew the garment to their hands. But in the New Testament, God put that authority in the office of apostolic fathers in the kingdom. With the words of their mouth, they sew garments and put upon people. And that's why you must understand the place and the role of fathers. Every man that is here, eventually you will stand as a father. And I pray that you will be a man and indeed you will have understood the, the mystery of fatherhood before you step into that office. If, if you don't understand it, hold on until you understand it. Because it is the craziest thing to hear some men, the way they talk to their children. You this blockhead. You this nonsense woman. You this and this. He doesn't know. He's, he, the power in the office of a father. As, as a, a, a father speak against his son, he just take the garment on him in the spirit and tear it. There are too many people that enter life with tattered clothes. The spirit of struggling. The spirit of poverty. The spirit of a beggar. is upon them. He's working, but he doesn't know why he's crawling in life. Has a degree from Massachusetts Institute of Technology, Harvard, and Yale. Yet there's no evidence of it. And the salary 2.5 million monthly, yet he's still in debt because the, some father has misused that mouth against him. I want you to put your Bibles down and listen to me. Now, I will do something. I'm going to start a process for you today by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. But every one of you, if you will take this teaching serious today, Revelations 5.12, you know what you do? Huh? I want you to, to declare it over yourself five days every day for the next 12 months. Five times a day. Every day for the next 12 months. This is my inheritance. I receive it. I receive power. I receive blessing. I receive honor. I receive wisdom. I receive the glory. I receive I wear the garment. See, as you have said, so I will do unto you. Did you hear what I'm saying? Revelations 5.12. Did you hear that? Declare it five times every day. When you remember, just you can, you, can, you can cram it and speak it out over yourself. It is your words that you are speaking. Charge your atmosphere with the inheritance. This is your inheritance. They say, I commend it to God and to the word of his grace. Which is able to be and give you your inheritance. That's what we have done today. That's your inheritance. As a girl, we are the garment of the glory of God. There are girls today that there are all kind of crazy things upon them. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Huh? Some of some 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 people have a, a cause that is upon them. He will he miss his appointment. You will not miss your appointment again. Because when the garment of the blessing is upon you, he, are, he rearranges your life in such a way that it will come out beautiful with glory, timing, places, right person, right places, right arrangement, right time. Are you following? You are going for an interview. By the time that you show up, the man that is angry will have left his seat. It is the man that is disposed to show kindness that you meet. Oh, may you not meet a wicked man on the day of interview. Yeah. Are you listening to what I'm saying? That is, that, so, there, there's a divine arrangement, an aura that arranges your own situation and circumstance for, at the right time. The lecturer is marking your paper and it's, it, it is when he's, when he's happy, he's just eating a very wonderful meal of pandemia. And things like everything is just conducive to be, to be kind to students. That's when your shit come up. Yeah. Not when he's angry and say, well, just begin to. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling. Some people say, well, I don't depend on that. I say, well, you don't have to. But if you have seen the operation of causes, I can delay somebody in life. Are you listening to what I'm saying? They brought the case of one young man to me and when I was praying for the young man, they was, he, he had the physical condition and the pastors were surprised at why I was rebuking the spirit of a curse. So you ought to have rebuked the spirit of a curse on this boy. How can he fall down on, an act, or on a bike and this kind of thing, a freak accident that is taking almost two years from him? Gone through three operations? Ah, uh -uh. You ought to see this a curse. Are you listening to what I'm saying? So it's not just an accident. It was something that like, like a homing device that drew that thing to him. Praise God. Now lift your hands to Jesus and pray in the spirit for five minutes. 
every garment of the struggler that somebody has put upon you with negative words, let it be torn off your back today. Every garment of a failure. Let the power of God come upon you in a new way. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Rabala masende yede madede yeste libra bayada. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. This scripture cannot be broken. This is your inheritance. You can enter into it. You can experience it. You can wear it. Just pray for five minutes now. Your journey will be smoother from today. Faster, easier. <laughs> oh yeah, pray, 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 pray. Two minutes more. I'm going to pray over you today. Your experience will be different today from today. He was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. All those seven powers, seven provisions, seven things. Fruitfulness is part of the blessing. You should not be barren. Barrenness is a sign of a cause. Being delayed in life, being behind schedule in life is a manifestation of the cause. That you are blessed means you are ahead of shadow. The Bible said they gave Esther a thing speedily. Speedily. When you are born again, you are qualified to walk on this planet as a blessed man, as a blessed woman. With the effect of the blessing manifested in your affairs, in your interactions, in your receivings, in the response that life and people give unto you. Nobody will treat you like a slave anymore. The treatment of royalty, the honor of an ambassador, the favor of a beloved child of God. Oh, I pray over you that your voice will carry the ring of the favorite. Your appearance will draw the favor of the favorite. Yes, thank you, Lord. Blessed be the name of Jesus. What you do, righteous, God will make to prosper. You know, when a man is under the curse, he walks like an elephant and eats like an ant. But when a man is blessed, listen, without work, blessing does not manifest. Oh, but when you are blessed, work becomes fulfilling. Hello, everyone. Are you looking for a place to fellowship online this season? Are you searching for an avenue to feed your faith consistently on a daily basis? Are you looking for answers? Then we've got you covered. God has directed his servant Reverend Olushala Ayodele Areogun to minister the word of life to every believer. Join in using the following links www.lifevoicesinternationalchurch.org slash streaming or www.dciradio.org You can also connect with us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, SoundCloud, YouTube and Vimeo with the handle at Reverend Areogun. Fellowship online with us every Wednesday for our midweek service from 5 o'clock in the evening and on Sundays for our super celebration service from 8 o'clock in the morning on the same platform. For inquiries, you can contact us via these telephone numbers plus 234-806-091-9696 plus 234-810-586-5879 Four five seven nine and plus two three four eight zero three seven two five two one two four SMS only. You can also send an email 
to lifevoices at atmail.com. Remember, this is not the season to fear, but a time to feed on the undiluted word of truth and return back to the place of personal intimacy with God. The Lord has said you are ease, you are hidden, impregnable, and strengthened. Jesus is Lord. Got a night.